am the Tween Teen Librarian here at the Heron Public Library, and with me today I have Glenda, the Children's Librarian. October is National Pizza Month, so we thought, what better way to celebrate with fun with food than to make pizza? So we are glad you're here today, and we'll get started. I believe in doing things easy. So first of all, I got this pre-made pizza dough and I found that in the refrigerator section. I bought pepperoni. I have onions. Some people like onions, some don't. You need to spray your pan, so I have this spray. Pizza sauce, you need that. And I like black olives, so I got a whole can of that. And then cheese. If you want to do pizza an easy way in a single serving, you can make it out of English muffins. You just cut them in half and you put all your ingredients on them and bake them. How I know how long to bake it and everything is it usually says on the directions on the pack here. And it says preheat the oven to 400 degrees. You want to do that now, right away, so that your oven is hot when you put it in. Then it says to grease your pan. First of all, you take and you grease your pan. And we're using just a greasing spray. Next of all, you roll your dough out. I taught a group of young people how to make pizza and they thought they had to put it in a ball. Did you see how easily Glenda just rolled it out and she's sizing it onto the pan? We have a small pan here. If we had a bigger pan, the pizza crust would be thinner. If you like thin pizza crust, think of that. Our pan is smaller, so ours is going to be more doughier. Okay, I'm gonna give an insider's tip. When you are baking your crust on a pan versus putting it on the oven rack, you can take a fork and poke holes into the crust and it creates air, which creates for a crispier crust. After you have your crust rolled out, you put your pizza sauce on top. This you don't really have to measure. You just want to make sure that you have enough covered on your pizza. You can just take and spoon it out like Glenda's doing and then spread it out with your spoon. If you did it on the English muffin, you would do the same way. After you have your crust covered with tomato sauce, you want to take your meat, nachos, pepperoni. What other things do you think you can use? Glenda, what's your favorite topping? Canadian bacon pineapple Ooh. with green peppers <laughs> and a little bit of ground turkey. That sounds really good. To me, the more you add to the pizza, the better, but some people like to keep it basic. So today we're keeping it basic. Some might not be able to eat English muffins or pizza dough because oh. of a gluten allergy. I didn't think of that. Um, I just recently introduced myself to cauliflower crust pizza. Oh. It's a really thin crust that gets really crispy. So for those of you that have gluten allergies, you might want to try a cauliflower crust. After we have the pepperoni on, you can add other toppings. I love black olives, so we're going to add black olives. The good thing about pizza is if you have somebody that loves black olives and the other person doesn't, you don't have to put it on the whole pizza. You just have to keep track of the side you put it on. So you can take and you can spread it, and that's the same with onions. You can just design the pizza to fit everybody's taste. And last but not least is the cheese. I like a lot of cheese, so look <laughs> at the bag. <laughs> so I'll get that to blend up, and she will put the final touches on the pizza. Have you ever grilled your pizza? No. Oh, on a grill? Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Yep. You can do it over an open fire or you can do it on your grill. I recommend very low heat on the top shelf. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, and you can grill pizza, just slow, just really slow. Do you take and put it on the pan on your grill or do you just put yeah, it I on? I have a grilling pan. Okay. Yep, so yeah, oh, put it right wow. on the pan. Okay, our oven is hot. We've preheated it to 400 degrees. When you're working with anything hot or electric like this, make sure you ask a parent or have a parent beside you. We do not want any burns. And Glenda suggests that you use oven mitts or pot holders. Okay, well, now we're going to put in the English muffins and they are not going to take as much time. Make sure that you have a parent here when you're working with the ovens. Make sure that you have permission. 
Hmm. Okay, these baked in the toaster oven about 10 minutes, and as you can see, they're done and they look delicious. And that is how you make pizza. Thanks everybody for joining us today. We'll see you next time when we do fun with foods. And in the meantime, be sure to send us pictures or send us a video clip of you making your pizza. Have a great day.